Have y'all seen this? <clears throat> a freight train loaded with thousands of migrants heading towards the Mexican border and from there to find way into uh, the US through Mexico or whatever. This is actually some scary type stuff, man. These are military aged men. A cargo train filled to the brim with migrants was spotted speeding towards the Mexican border with the United States as it looks to add hundreds to the crisis uh, to the crisis border towns face with the overwhelming influx of migrants. This seems very well coordinated. Where are they getting their funding? Where are they getting their funding? Pause it and see if you can spot any women and children. No. Ain't no women or children on this uh, train. It's all military-aged men. You can't even spot like an old man there because old people are too frail to take these long journeys. These are young, strapping men. This is not... This, this is... They call it migration. The media says migration. This is looking more like an invasion every day. I understand you want to come over and make a better life for yourself and all that and your family. That's understandable. Like, I can advocate for that. But this is beyond, beyond. <laughs> Train company, Ferromax or whatever, they need to be questioned. Like, who's funding you? And a lot of the times, they say when these people arrive, they get given a bank account, an ATM card with money in it to get their lives going. This, these people are literally importing their voting base. <laughs> look at that, exactly, look at that. This is immigration. This is an invasion. Know the difference. Look at that meme. That's a very accurate description of what, what's going on here. And they keep flying their flags. You're trying to go to someone else's country to have a better life. Why disrespect that country by flying your flag while you're marching in, in mass? It's disrespectful. That symbolizes an invasion because... Uh, what happens when people invade another territory? They take their flag and then they, they plant their flag in that new territory. And it's all men, bunch of men. <laughs> Look at this one. It's really pretty simple. If they don't shut down the border, shut down the government. Well, you can't shut down the government because the government wants this to happen. They're bringing in their voting base. This is what they're doing. You're being replaced. <laughs> because they know when they're bringing these people, they, people are just going to be happy to get little peanuts and little pittance from the government. They'll just be happy. They'll do whatever the government wants them to do. But you, the natural citizens of the country, you pretty much know your rights and you're not going to stand for stuff. So they're like, well, if you're going to give us headache as a citizen, we're just going to import new citizens. It's pretty, that's what they're doing. <laughs> this, is, this is treasonous. This is treasonous. But nobody's doing anything about it. Number one. Number two. Number two. Number three, number four. From all angles, from land and water, <laughs> they're just dropping in. This open society um, policy and open border policy that your current administration 
is participating in, it's not what it's not fit, it's only going to favor them. The one percent. And this is only going to devastate the middle class. This will seriously devastate the middle class. Because these people are ready to work for less than minimum wage. So if you if you as a citizen are marching with your union saying you want uh increased minimum wage, the government will be like, well, the companies will be like, well, just let them go then. We'll get these people that are, that are work for next to nothing. They'll, they'll, they'll work for food. Don't pay me, just give me something to eat. Venezuela! Number five, last four have been mostly Venezuelan. That's what we're seeing again, mostly coming through. But you've got Chinese, you've got uh, Bangladesh, a lot of Bangladesh, a lot of... Uh, Exactly. The word get around and people from different parts of the world are going to know, all right, the border is open. The USA border is open. All right, let's go to this country and that country and then we'll go through the back doors and the neighboring countries and just get into the US from there through that channel because it's open. It's an open invitation. They're literally saying, come. <laughs> Trump, if Trump gets in next year, he's got, he's, he's got his work cut out for him. He's got his work cut out for him. And in every corner, he's going to have opposition, even within his party. We all know it's not it's not both parties. It's, it's, it's a uniparty system. They just act like they're different from each other just for the theatrics. But they're all the same. Even within the, the Republican Party, they still still fighting tooth and nail not to get Trump running. So if he wins, if he wins, he's got his work cut out for him. This is a mess. This is a mess. India, Egypt. We saw one from Morocco yesterday. It's crazy. All right, we're to the where the river splits. Now we're going back up river towards Bajo Chiquita. More, no, more, look, more coming. As a, as as a citizen, <laughs> oh my! Especially if you if you're one of those. Uh, States, you live in one of those states, those border states, be very careful because you have starving, hungry people coming into your country, like people that are impoverished coming into your country. It's desperate people. They will do whatever to survive. Your safety is your own priority because the police are not going to be there every time to guide you. The border police got their hands full. <laughs> protect yourself. Like Wu Tang says, protect your neck. Son! That was number six, here's number seven. Number seven, here's, here's number eight. Number nine, donde son? China? China, China, China and Africa. So that boat, that was number nine. China, the front half of the boat was China, the back half was Africa. In the middle of the Darien Gap. The front was China, the back. They even segregating themselves right from the boat, even before they get in the country. This is a mess. This is a mess. Number 10, more Venezuela. So that was boat number 10, and it's 10 a.m. right now. All day. Colombia, Venezuela, and the front was Africa. Venezuela. This is every couple of minutes. Every couple of minutes, you're having boatloads of people coming in every couple of minutes. So in a day, you probably have a thousand, if not more. Wow. Wow. When I heard people talking about this, I thought it was just an exaggeration. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah this is exaggerated. But seeing this, bro, bro, this is a problem. This is a problem. Africa, Venezuela, and Africa, China, China, Venezuela, China. That was 14. We have 15, 16. It's going to be hard to keep track. We're already at 16, and it's 10:05 in the morning. Colombia, Africa, Haiti, Haiti. At 16, this is 17. Right behind him, back to back to back. Every 
you see before right back in the day when people were, were coming uh into a country illegally they were sneaking hide in the middle of the night through bushes through tunnels and everything right now they're not even scared they're right in your face they're just saying it we're coming from here we're coming from here we're going to the country yeah we're going in because everyone knows it's open it's an open invitation right now because back then people were actually terrified to go into uh, into another country illegally because they know that's an illegal action you're taking and if you're caught you're going to pay severe consequences but now no consequences the people that are supposed to punish the lawbreakers are saying come in it's open what of course they're going to come in and you, there's no way of tracking the people that are coming in you don't know their profiles you don't know you don't know who they are you don't know if they if these are criminals or or our atheist coming from fleeing their crimes you don't know if they're murderers you have no idea wow wow and the ratio is like 10 to 1 men to women it's more men coming in corner you go around they don't the sun. I see Africa. Africa? Africa. Whole boat of Africa. We're already at 17. Now we have 18. They're on the sun. They're on the sun. Where are you from? Egypt? 19. There's 20. Holy cow. They don't so 21. You know, it's so sad about this. Is rather than actually making jobs in America, rather than actually helping these people fix their own countries, we're inviting them to invade and creating this whole new fake economy out in the jungle here that will eventually collapse and take these communities with them. Look at this. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28. De donde son? Africa? Somalia? We got Somalia. You can't keep track. There's no way you can keep track of all this. It's impossible. That's 28. Here's 29. All stopping at these little markets. If black, if black and white people, if there's anything that would unite black and white people and brown people and every American citizen, it should be this. <laughs> because you're the one that's going to get the hard end of the stick. I've seen enough, man. I've seen enough. This is, what? 30, 31, 32. 32, 33. They don't son. Where are you from? India? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? India. We got India. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. They don't China? Vietnam. We got Vietnam. First Vietnam I've seen. They don't son. China? These are multi, multi cultured people. Do you know how hard it is? Do you know how hard it is to govern a certain group of people from one culture, let alone having so many different. What? This is a mess. This is. Whoa! Is this bad? I didn't know it was this bad. Oh, man, it's sad. The neocons destroy these people's countries and then they import them over. Why don't you just leave their country alone? Let them fix their homes. <sighs> We're in trouble.